major domains of the earth that is the chapter we are discussing now the domains of the earth majorly divided into four parts they are lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere the solid portion of the earth is known as lithosphere the word if we say lithosphere it is divided into two part one is lithos the second part is sphere litho means the rocky part the rock so the rocky part of the world is known as lithosphere next come to hydrosphere hydro means water so the part we can see full of water the watery part of the world is known as hydrosphere next we are coming to atmosphere the gaseous part of the world that covers all of us we can feel it that is known as atmosphere in a graphic presentation if we want to present it we can draw it like this if this is lithosphere and this is hydrosphere and this is atmosphere then in between the small part we can say as biosphere biosphere is everywhere if you see we can find life everywhere either in lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere or it all concerned of biosphere everywhere we can find life we will discuss now specifically on lithosphere if we see lithosphere the solid portion if you remove water if you remove everything from the world the rocky part of the world that is lithosphere we all know that earth is a rocky planet so the base is rock the rocky part of the earth is known as lithosphere this is uh, there are two main divisions on this of the earth surface land huge landmass whatever we can find they are called as continents we can divide our earth into two major come uh, uh, two major divisions one is continent another one is oceans the major rocky part of the earth is consist of all continents and we divided it into seven continents the name of the continents are asia europe africa north america south america australia and antarctica these are the name of the continents with all these continents the earth is we, we can say the lithosphere of earth that is made of all these seven continents we will discuss about the continents now asia the first one is asia asia is the largest continent we can say it is uh, it is it is the major part of the earth we can say that is covered with asia the first continent the second one even we can see the india our country that is also that is situated in asia the largest mountain peak the largest mountain range himalaya that also is in asia the next the smallest continent that is europe it is the smallest continent next we are coming to uh, africa we all know about africa it is the second largest continent and after asia this uh, the position of the continents after asia as per the size it is africa it is this is the only continent where we can find the equator the tropic of cancer as well as the tropic of capricorn that is the size of africa and that is the uh, we can say the placement of africa equator runs through this country so the, the climate everything is mostly uh, controlled by equator this is continent as a dark uh, this continent is called as a dark continent also the sahara desert nile river whatever you can imagine that remember the names these all are situated in 
Africa. I hope you all know about North America. The before only few days we have an election in America, North America, and North America is a, one of the ruling power of the world. You know that North America is the third largest continent as per the size, followed by South America. Then we are coming to Australia. Australia is an island continent. It is the all the side of the continent is covered with water. So this is we call as island continent. And another thing we have to remember, this is the continent that is in the southern hemisphere. All other continents mostly they are massed in the northern hemisphere. But Australia is the continent that is in the southern hemisphere. And the next one, the last one is Antarctica, the ice continent, the continent that is completely full of ice. People habitant is not there, it is not possible there. The temperature is so less that we cannot live there for long time. But most of the countries they have their research center in Antarctica. Even for India, we have our uh, research center in Antarctica, they are uh, known as Dakshin Ganga tree and Maitri. These two uh, research centers are there in Antarctica where people they are doing some research on this continent. Most part of this continent is still inaccessible. We cannot go there. So these at a glance about the lithosphere, the continents. Next we are coming to hydrosphere. I told you hydrosphere is mostly built by all the oceans, water, water bodies of the earth, earth that is known as hydrosphere and the oceans are the major part if we leave apart rivers, lakes and ponds and the small water bodies then the major part of the hydrosphere is made by the oceans. So four oceans we have we have Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean and Arctic Ocean. Uh, this is as we know that we all know that Earth is a blue planet and why it is a blue planet? Because most part of the Earth if you observe it, it is quite consists with water. So uh, from the outer sphere like from the uh, um, uh, out, outside of the Earth if you see Earth, if you can, if you are able to see Earth. Uh, the, uh, we can see that art, the color of the earth is blue. So it is called a blue planet. Though it is a blue planet, but most of this water they are consist only in the oceans. The major part of the hydrosphere that is in the oceans only. And we have major four oceans. We have four oceans. Uh, Rest of the water though we have uh, in the form of rivers, ponds, lakes, but they are a very small percentage of water. Though it is a very, as I told you that though it is a watery planet, though it is a blue planet, but the water we use, we can use, that part of water is very less, only 1 or 2 percent water we can use for our daily use. The rest part is salty and we cannot use it. So, though it is a planet, we call it, it is a watery planet, two third of the planet is full of water, but even then the usable water is very less. This is the high time, we must save water, we must think about our future generation and use water rationally other than misutilizing the water, whatever the facilities we have. Now coming to the oceans, oceans are mass water bodies but the water is salty, we need to remember that and ocean waters is never static, they are always moving from one place to another and these all oceans are interconnected, it is separated by the continents but they are connected in some of the places. Pacific Ocean is called as the largest ocean. This is the largest and spread over one third of the earth. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the earth, that you uh, that is even the, the height of Mariana Trench, that is even more than Mount Everest. 
can you can you even imagine that that is in pacific ocean next we are coming to atlantic ocean this is the second largest ocean of the world and this is the ocean we can say the busiest ocean it is uh, it is just join it is in between europe and america and you can think the business uh, we can do with using this atlantic ocean and uh, atlantic ocean is also famous for its fish business they have a booming fish business over there in atlantic ocean and even other all business facilities it is the busiest one